sounds like Curtis has got some support out there, which is nice. Far, far away from home. Yeah, and potentially in a world of danger with that man, Sensor Time, standing away from, oh, on the opposite side of the ring from him. I don't really blame him for having a silent prayer here. There he is, Curtis Allen, the hunter, but he's oh, not as, it, as the same tie, the hunter. He's not hunting Wabbit tonight, <laughs> and I am making history with the first Elmer Fudd <laughs> reference ever in combat sports history. 28-year-old fighting from London, United Kingdom, 177 centimeters tall. This fight is at 71 kgs, and his record, 42 fights, 29 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. And then we can see the 25-year-old Centre Tan, Plong Son, Blue Resort, 183 centimeters tall, 169 fights, 135 victories, 29 losses with five draws. A former Lumpini Stadium champion, all the way back when he was 63.5 kgs, champion of Thailand at the same weight. A WMC Muay Thai champion at 67 kilograms. Kazuzu Cup Super Fight 2017 champion, that was at 70 kgs. And the Thai Fight champion of 2017, also at 70 kilograms. Center Tan, Plong Son, Blue Resort. Also fights out of the famed PK Sanchai Muay Thai gym. The same gym that Chana John, the same gym that uh, Sanchai and uh, PK. So yeah, PK Sanchez versus. They have got a, uh, what a gang, <laughs> what's the right word? Posse? An army? <laughs> Gotta be careful about what kind of words we use. Yeah. Tawan Chai, of course. You know you were Muay Thai Stadium Champion. Yeah. In my opinion, will become Fighter of the Year this year. Who? Tawan Chai, his name is. Wow. Yes. Bold. Very, very good. Bold prediction. Muay Thai Champion. Undefeated, I believe. Also from the PK, a Sanchai stable. Yeah, unfortunately for Sensaton, he had to pull out of his last fight due to a staff, staff infection ah, yeah. on his knee. So it's nice to see him back and and fully healthy. He's one of the most consistent performers in the Thai fight stable, really. Yeah, and he's he's so well rounded as well. I mean, yeah. He's good with his hands. Solid, solid all around fighter. Kicks, knees, elbows, all the facets needed. In Muay Thai, Santa Tan possesses. And of course, what comes along with that as well is the knockout power. Hey, he's plucky. Yeah. I'm going to use plucky and Elmer Fudd in the same night. I'm on fire. Or about to be fired. One or the other. Should be. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, no, you can Plug. hear that. You can hear the shouts for Curtis coming from the crowd, so it's great that he's been able to bring some support with him. He's going to need it. He's going to be up against it tonight against a great fighter. There must be a few Brits in the audience. There's one sitting right next to me. Yep, half. <laughs> half Brit, half Thai. I'm split down the middle right now. Yeah, you're, you're mystic. <laughs> Not really sure what you are. <laughs> Round one. Curtis Allen from the United Kingdom in the white. Sends a time from Thailand in the black. Again, you can see the rope tans, another car check fight. The majority of the fights this evening have been car check. Center time, looking for that right hand. Connecting with the outside fly kick. I just noticed it seemed like it was raining. I think it's raining right now. I think you're crying. Nice left hand there from Curtis. Yeah, that was sneaky. Don't think Center time was expecting it. Outside leg kick as well from Allen. Curtis. Yeah, you must be really crying now because I can feel it as well, Aaron. Yeah. Curtis uh, on the balls of his feet there. Looking there. Again, another outside leg kick. You're pretty confident, relaxed. Always a good sign. That's time for really going to work on that lead leg, though. Really smart thing to do at the start of a fight. It will always pay dividends as the fight moves on. I can't remember if the stuff infection was on the left or right leg, but it seems that Curtis is barely going up to the leg. Well, I don't see any ill, effect, Ill effects uh, remaining from that infection that he suffered. Alan moving forward, and again, you can see uh, take away that lead leg. But I was going to say, yeah, attacking that lead leg is always a good idea. He's going to look at the goal high, but trim that beard. Connect. Back to 
setting three. Good block there from Curtis. Again, going low with the kicks. Well, you don't want to just let Sense try and attack that knee leg with consistently, so you can bring that knee up. Well, very Anything that he can do to deter that strike. A very measured approach so far from the Brit. Throwing that side kick in from set to time. Chess match here early in the first. Both fighters really working on the other fighter's lead leg. Good left hand from Central Time. Just a warning shot there for Curtis Allen. Then Central Time moves forward. Doesn't connect. Then outside kick from Curtis Allen. Oh, oh my goodness! Out of nowhere! And it looks like absolutely nowhere. Curtis is reacting the same way that we were. Just complete shock and surprise. Both hands out of And it was a really good start as well for Curtis Allen, but yeah, he's just got his hands out like, what What just yeah, happened? I'm not sure he knows where he is right now. That was turned into a really competitive fight. Yeah, I mean, it was like I said, it was a really good start for Allen, but you you had the feeling that that sense of time was kind of measuring him and getting the range, and my goodness, when he locked on, it was a homing missile right to the face that finished this fight. And another really impressive performance for Sensitar, who's not always finishing his opponent, so really good for him just to, to show that knockout power. As we always see here at Tide Fight.